Hello, my name is Joanne Melson. I'm from the Directorate of Occupational Therapy here at Salford University. Um, occupational therapy is about rehabilitation of people with either a physical disability or a mental health problem, which prevents them from carrying out activities of daily living. So as an occupational therapist, my concerns are to help people or to facilitate people to be independent in as many areas of daily living as they possibly can be. Um, this can include personal care or domestic activities or work or leisure activities. So any occupation, that's what we're about, facilitating independence in that occupation. Um, again, as an OT, I spend a lot of time trying to enable people to be independent, in, particularly in personal activities of toileting, washing, bathing, dressing, that sort of thing. For example, toileting is a very personal activity of daily living that really nobody wants to have to have any help with. Everybody would like to be independent in getting themselves on and off a toilet, dealing with cleaning themselves after they've been to the toilet. Um, it's an area that people don't like to talk about if they're having problems with, so that there's, you know, it's, it's a taboo area, nobody wants to talk about toileting, but everybody has to do it. Traditional problems with toileting are very, very difficult, particularly when somebody is, un is unable to stand and wait bare through the legs to actually stand and transfer on and off a toilet. Um, traditional methods using a hoist and a sling, like this one, fit around the individual to lift them traditionally in a sitting position, from chair, from the bed, whatever. But as you can see, with the sling, there are inherent difficulties with, this is actually a toileting sling, <laughs> excuse my bottom, um, to lift somebody on and off the toilet. There is a, an aperture, but to facilitate someone to toilet themselves, you have to lift them without any clothing on the bottom half. So you can imagine dignity <laughs> is somewhat lacking in being lifted on and off the toilet, transported up and down a ward in using the hoist. So we're now going to demonstrate the using the clip to lift jacket to bring my lovely colleague and volunteer Mike from a chair to the toilet, presuming that he is unable to wait there through his legs. Okay. So clip to lift consists of three parts essentially. The jacket which has four points of attachment, two at the front and two at the back. And then we have two leg pieces which sit around the leg, around the thigh, not into the knee, but around the thigh, which are then attached to the, um, the ab bar on the, the hoist and brought up into a lifting position. Okay, so we'll unclip that one. One part of the leg piece actually attaches to the base of the jacket, just clips like that, and then the same on the other side. We have adjusted these leg pieces following um, a little pilot study, so we've actually lined the inside with some fleecy material to stop it from there, uh, just to avoid pressure really. But, the clip to lift, it's not designed to be to hold somebody in the lifted position for any length of time. It's literally just to transfer as quickly as possible, really. Okay, then we use the carabiners on the strap to actually clip and attach the jacket. So we've got... It's just in case it needs to get any 
snugger when we're fastening in. So we have two at the front. Okay, and two at the back. Clip to lift will actually work with any mechanical hoist, whether it be an electric hoist or a manual hoist. It will also work with any hoist with an outrigger like this, which most of them do have, um, in, even if it's a track ceiling hoist. So it's compatible with all different manufacturers. Let's me like these gone lost a leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you all right there? You ready Fine. to go? You don't need to take it any higher because it doesn't actually feel very nice. <laughs> as long as the bottom is actually clear off the chair, whatever. Sorry, I'm going to have to do it back with Paul. Yeah, me. Just spinning me around there. Can you, do you want to put your feet on the. Thank you. 